This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the reactions of acids and bases. We'll start by looking at the types of reactions that acids undergo. First, we have neutralization reactions with bases such as metal hydroxides, metal oxides and ammonia. Acids also react with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. And finally, we have reactions with active metals such as magnesium or zinc. So we'll start by looking at neutralization reactions with metal hydroxides. Here we have the general equation for an acid and a metal hydroxide. The products of the reaction are a salt and water. In our first example, we have hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride and water. Next, we have ethanoic acid reacting with sodium hydroxide to form sodium ethanoate and water. In our third reaction, we have sulfuric acid reacting with potassium hydroxide to form potassium sulfate and water. And finally, we have nitric acid reacting with barium hydroxide to produce barium nitrate and water. Note that in each of these reactions, the products are a salt and water. The identity of the salt depends on the parent acid and base. For example, reactions with hydrochloric acid produce chlorides, reactions with sulfuric acid produce sulfates, and reactions with nitric acid produce nitrates. Next, we look at neutralization reactions with metal oxides. So here we can see the general word equation for the reaction between an acid and a metal oxide. The products of the reaction are a salt and water. In our first example, hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium oxide to form magnesium chloride and water. In our second example, sulfuric acid reacts with sodium oxide to produce sodium sulfate and water. Next, we have neutralization reactions with ammonia. In our first reaction, hydrochloric acid reacts with ammonia to form ammonium chloride. In the second reaction, ethanoic acid reacts with ammonia to form ammonium ethanoate. Note that in reactions between an acid and ammonia, there is only one product formed. Next, we have reactions with metal carbonates. Here we can see the general word equation for the reaction between an acid and a metal carbonate. The products of the reaction are a salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So in our first example, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium carbonate to produce sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide gas. In our second example, sulfuric acid reacts with magnesium carbonate to form magnesium sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide. Next, we have reactions with metal hydrogen carbonates. So here we have the general word equation, so that's acid plus metal hydrogen carbonate forms a salt, water, and carbon dioxide. The example we have here is hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydrogen carbonate, and that forms sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. And finally, we look at the reactions between acids and metals. Acids react with active metals, which are those above hydrogen on the activity series, to produce a salt and hydrogen. So here we have the general word equation, so it's acid plus metal, and the products are salt plus hydrogen. In our first example, we have hydrochloric acid reacting with magnesium to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen. In our second example, we have sulfuric acid reacting with zinc to produce zinc sulfate and hydrogen. And in our final example, we have nitric acid reacting with calcium to produce calcium nitrate and hydrogen. Once again, we can see the type of salt formed by each acid. Hydrochloric acid produces chlorides, sulfuric acid produces sulfates, and nitric acid produces nitrates. In all three reactions, hydrogen gas is also produced. So that's all from this video. Don't forget that all my videos can be found on my website at www.msjchem.com.